Good afternoon. My name is David Kaufman. I am here for the moment just to introduce my colleague, Chantal Ranguet, who is a author and translator who will be introducing our next uh, book of recognition, Simon Pierre Lacasse's book, uh, Les Juifs de la Révolution Tranquille. Video, please. This year, we received a great number of high quality books in the fields of Canadian Jewish studies and history, so we had to make difficult choices. However, we hope to be able to, to do more in the future in the specific field of Canadian Jewish studies. For now, we would like to give a special quotation to a book in particular. Les Juifs de la Révolution tranquille regardent une minorité religieuse sur le Québec de 1945 à 1976 by Simon-Pierre Lacasse, published by the University of Ottawa Press, is an important contribution to the history of cultural pluralism in Quebec during the Quiet Revolution. The book is especially interesting since it describes a period during which Jews presented their own political and cultural claims to the French majority thus redefining the nature of intercultural relations in the province. Based on archival research in three languages, Lacasse's monograph overcome prejudices and unfounded opinions while nuancing the popular assumption that animosity and reluctance alone characterized Quebec Jews' reaction to the Quiet Revolution, revealing a more complex dynamics between Jews and French Canadian during this period of political turmoil. Congratulations, Simon-Pierre Lacasse. Merci à vous toutes et à vous tous uh, d'être ici aujourd'hui. Thank you to the jurors to have paid attention to my book, to have engaged with it, to have debated it, to have made it a piece of conversation within yourself and to then make, make it a piece of conversation perhaps for more uh, interested readers. Because what this book really is, uh, it's, it's a conversation. Uh, I come from uh, outside of the community. So of course, uh, I had to uh, make amends, make efforts to be uh, part of a research community, but also to understand Jewish history, Jewish perceptions. And in some ways, this book shares some of the methodology or at least the posture of the anthropologist. Uh, I had to go through a process of uh, lear learning Yiddish, uh, learning European Jewish history, Ashkenazi, Sephardim as well. And it has been a conversation between the French Canadian Goyesha boy, undergrad at Concordia, who's meeting with very interested, fascinating Jewish scholars and who learns something about his own society. Um, what I've gained in the process of looking at Quebec history and Canadian history through Jewish sources is a better understanding of the city I love, of a society I love, and of uh, conversations that can go beyond animosity. You know, Quebec history works on its own dynamics. It's something that Canadian politics is very well aware of. Uh, we have certain perceptions, uh, certain ideas, and I think the role of the historian is to look at the way popular history is being vehicled, discussed, and to problematize it, to, to, to not necessarily to debunk. The point is not to revision to say something did not happen, but it's always very complex, and I think that my discovery, I have, I've had a message with this book, both for my own community, uh, if I can speak in those terms, and I want to say, and I have said to Canada, to French Canada and to Quebec, that the Quiet Revolution is something that's very large, hard to grasp, but that goes way beyond the borders and the frontiers of Quebec, and it's something that many communities participated to, this great there's great changes that happened. The Jewish communities were an active part as well of changing Quebec in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and that's something that needs to be recognized to understand the diverse nature of Quebec today. But also that while it is crucial to study, to document, and to understand French Canadian and Catholic anti-Semitism in Quebec, 
It's also understand to look at the history of Quebec and Jewish relationships beyond anti-Semitism, because it is a nuanced, very complex dynamics, and there are some very interesting parallels and conversation that occurred in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and that I did not see in the literature that I was reading. So the Jews of the Quiet Revolution, the title is, uh, is chosen. The Jewish community of Montreal was of this movement. They were an active part of it. They were in an active conversation with political figures, with intellectuals. And in that case, they, and in that particular context, they helped to shape uh, the, 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 the modern Quebec society that, that, that we have today. So I do hope that the book will get translated soon into English because I do understand that uh, there might be some uh, challenges uh, in reading French for some of you at least. And uh, I, I hope then that this is only the beginning of uh, this important conversation. Merci beaucoup encore à vous toutes. Et puis aussi, je voulais remercier la communauté juive de m'avoir accueilli comme chercheur, comme personne non juive. J'ai toujours été très généreuse avec moi, très ouverte. J'ai rencontré de grands esprits, de belles personnes. Et je me tiens de, avec vous aujourd'hui, en tant que personne non juive, euh, une semaine après des événements horribles, euh, pour, pour lesquels je suis euh, extrêmement solidaire. Euh, alors, euh, en tant que personne qui chérit l'humanité, la vie humaine, ça m'a extrêmement touché. Et puis, je vous envoie tout mon soutien, tout mon amour et toute mon amitié. Merci. Merci.